we have a base use case and a included use case. So again, let's reconfirm our understanding about uh, what an included use case means. Anybody on the phone? Let's pick on people now. Ruchi? Uh, what is I include? Include? Yep. Okay. Uh, actually, include condition is the must condition. It's you have to fulfill. Exactly. So, include is you have to fulfill. You have to fulfill what? The base use case or the included use case? The base use case. The base use case. Base use case, you are, you are in that use case already. So, you must fulfill the included use case. Okay. So, while you are running the base use case, the included use case must be run successfully in order for your base use case to run successfully. Right. So, here let us assume A is my base and B is my included. Okay. So, now during A's execution, so let us assume I am on step number 1, right? And then I do step number 2, step number 3, step number 4, 5, 6, 7. Step number 7, now I am in a position and need to execute my base use case. So, what happens in the flow is, I go through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seventh step, I call this use case B. So, I call use case B and I need to execute it. So, I go to that use case, execute step, not step B, but use case B entirely. Right? At some point of time, I get out of A, run B entirely, then come back to A and continue my steps. Okay, so this is how it logically means. You start in a base use case, you run off, do this additional process which resides elsewhere, and then you come back to A. So for logical purposes, it's as if use case B is copied onto your use case A, right? Because that's essentially what's happening. Instead of running it as steps 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you're just running another step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then coming back here and resuming, right? So, this is what happens and control returns to B always, I am sorry, returns to A. A cannot produce success outcome without running B. So, if B fails for whatever reason, it is not cooperating, system is down or that part of the system is not accessible, A cannot be successful because it is dependent and it is a mandatory requirement for A to be successful. Yeah. So, we got this point. <coughs> And also remember that B can be run multiple times while A is running. It really depends on your scenario. How many times do you have to check balance, for example? Next point is nothing prevents B from being executed directly. Right? So the example is transfer funds include check balance. Right? But I can just run check balance because I want to see my balance. Right? So our check balance is run as an included use case and also in another scenario as a base use case. So, included does not mean that it is always a slave waiting for another use case to call it. It can be called directly. Nothing prevents it. It really depends on your scenario. Exactly. So, the correlation is I can have an arrow from an actor to B directly. If it was true that B can run by itself. Again, not always. I am just saying that there is no reason that it would not does not mean that every included is also a base. So far are we clear? Any questions? Okay. And for those of you who might be familiar with uh, programming, this is like a function call. You are in you are in a main program, you call another function, execute it and then come back to the main program. Right? So that is the analogy if you are familiar with programming. Any questions on this now? So, include is mandatory. B may be included in several different cases. By def different use cases? Right. Sure, absolutely. So, B might be an included use case for different base use cases. Yes. Good example is make payment. You might make payment because you are buying a subscription. You might make payment because I want to purchase this product. You might make payment because you want to renew your subscription. Right. So, make payment can be called 
by different use cases and that's very typical that's a very good reason to have include in the first place <clears throat> so the benefits are i think we discussed about this referring to an earlier question reusability if i pull it out multiple people can access it that's one benefit second benefit is keep different goals separately right just so that i don't have to deal with too many things in one use case it simplifies it i can keep different uh, goals separate and still achieve both by calling the second use case six attention these in this conference the next diagram is uh, customer is trying to register for co for courses he's trying to pay fees but both of this requires a login all right if you note this diagram and compare it with the diagram on slide 22 you will see that they are similar except that we are not concerned about register in the second case but here login is a precondition to register for courses and pay fees right slide 24 we are saying that in order to register for courses and pay fees, you have to log in. It's the same. Do you know that? Right? So, a precondition, right? A precondition can also be included in the first step of the use case. Right? Anything that is a precondition can also be an include. Makes sense, right? Representing the same thing in two different ways. Exactly right. One is using include construct, one is using precondition construct. Both mean the same. It's the same to say that um, you must wash your hands before you eat. The same thing is saying first step is wash your hands, then next eat. Right? It just what do you need to do it beforehand or do you need to do first things first? Make sense? Questions here? Good question. Regardless of how you depict this way, include way or the previous way, precondition way, it does not tie in the development. Right? Also remember that development can be achieved in two ways. You can either present the login screen when they are first trying to register for a course or they can say, you know what, you have come here to do something. First login. So how you represent it has no binding on how it gets designed in terms of UI, right? It has no binding. So we have two methods of depicting it. You have two methods of implementing it. They are not really tied in to each other. And if you take it in the literal sense, you would think that register for courses and then login screen pops up. Login pops up. You could think about it like that, but it's not, it's not necessary. Because either ways, the result is achieved. It's like a math problem, right? You have a math problem. There are different ways to get to a solution. So it doesn't matter how you define it here. The end goal is the business rule is maintained. The rule is what? Login required to register. Login required to pay. Okay. <clears throat> now, slide 25. Does that seem correct? Because it's not mandatory to go inside the account. First, the registration will be required. Okay, so, so to log in, yeah, this is correct? That's correct. That's yeah. correct. It's correct? It's correct. It is not because people have already registered it. Exactly. It's correct only at one instance. It's not continuously required that you need to register. register. What this is telling you that every time you log in, you must register, which doesn't make sense. Right, so that's a very good thought because it's it's all about instance. First time, yes, true, but is it always true? Because you know the use case diagram is the same; it's static. It's not a flow, right? It documents behavior, but it's not flow. <coughs> so the, the, looking at this diagram, there is no way to say <coughs> that this must be true only for the first time. Hence, this diagram is incorrect. Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, if it becomes only for first time, then it could be a 
Exactly right. Exactly right. So the way we've done with it before is by making it a precondition. Yes. That would be the right way of doing it. Okay. Next comes extend. Right? And remember the arrow is also flipped. So extending use case arrow towards base use case because something else extends my main functionality ok something else in a secondary use case extends the base use case make sense so here let us say b extends a b may or may, or may not be executed ever while a is running because it is just an optional Think about the buy extended warranty example, right? I may never opt to buy warranty, which means B is never executed. If I say yes, then I am additionally executing this. <coughs> Again, nothing prevents B from running by itself. A lot of stores allow you to buy this extended warranty 30 days from the time of your purchase. So as long as you meet that precondition, I could directly have an arrow from the customer to B. Right? So, the same rule is true. By warranty extends by laptop. By warranty may be purchased by itself separately. Right? And here, things which again do not follow the same goal are separated out, makes it simpler, simpler. But it is optional flow that is extended. So, the benefits are on slide 27 separate flows that detract in focus from the base use case that you have. The other advantage is base use case becomes simpler to manage because all the condition ifs and buts are put separate. Make sense? What if I want to make purchase items like the precondition? Can I just I buy the discount code or whatever, but I want to check if they purchased. So I am sorry, I did not get your question. So, your question is how do you make purchase item preconditioned to apply discount code? Yeah. Uh, what would be the intent though? Because you okay, want. I need your warranty exam. Okay. Suppose I, am, I want to buy the warranty later mm -hmm. at the time of uh, purchase, but my purchase becomes a precondition. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. So how would I. Okay. So in that case, so the question is, I can buy uh, I can buy the additional warranty along with my purchase, or I can buy it later, right? So in that case, because that doesn't apply to this example, you couldn't re reflect it on this example, right? So did we have? A uh, folks on the phone, can you please mute your line if you have any background noises? Please hit four star. Okay, let's just draw a quick use case diagram. So this is my buy laptop. Okay. <coughs> It's extended by by warranty, right? So this is our basic extend scenario. It's from the extended use case to the base use case. <coughs> now the question is. I need to make sure that they just don't go and buy warranty. They must have bought the laptop beforehand. So the answer would be just have a plain association. Oops. Let's say the arrow is struggling to make its way towards here. Okay. So once you bought the laptop, then you have a way to just buy the warranty if you will. Make sense? No. Because you don't always have to buy warranty, right? This is just a plain association. 
preconditions are plain associations. Also, this is one of the pitfalls that you will fall into. Anytime you are using a, you are trying to do a U, UML diagram, use case diagram, you will try to put include or extend into every arrow. Not really. So, think twice. Whether it's optional, does it go along with this base use case? Because a lot of things are optional. Like, I might buy, I might search for a flight but not purchase ticket. Doesn't mean that I'm extending. Right? Extending is true only when your base use case is satisfied. So, be cautious of your intent to try to put include and extend on every error out there. That's not correct. No. No. Buy warranty includes buy laptop, which means when I'm going to buy warranty, they're slapping another laptop on me. Right? Every time I need to buy warranty, I buy a second laptop. <laughs> Although say sales persons are capable of doing that. <laughs> yeah, the, the other day I was in uh, Radio Shack trying to buy this uh, wireless mic. They are like, what phone do you have? Well, I can really get you a good deal. And let me, I mean, I'm like, I came for my wireless mic. Where is the phone in my picture? Before I know it, I'll walk out with two laptops and two speakers and Whatever crap I don't need. Say again. Cross selling and upselling. Exactly. And they try to make me buy extended warranty for this also. I mean, anything that you go, oh, just 50 cents a month. I'm like, it's 10% of the price of the product. <laughs> right? <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> so, are we clear on how different depictions work? Good question though, because you don't want to link directly by warranty from this person 